getting a taste of some Brazilian classics courtesy of HEB. She's joining us now with HEB President Scott McLeland. It sounds like you guys are having a party out there this morning, Rachel. Good morning, guys. We are bringing the taste of Brazil right to your living room because, of course, our Olympic coverage is going to be starting in less than two weeks now. So I'm here at HEB where they're having the big rollout to Rio today. There was a samba band when I came in. I'm here with Scott McClellan. Very excited to have you guys helping us out with the Olympics this year again. That's right. There's nothing better than the Olympics. I mean, it's the two weeks out of every two years that I sit on the couch and live vicariously uh, watching TV and then eat is what I do while I watch it. We do a lot of eating yes. and this time I'm very excited because I understand the food in Brazil is a lot better than the food in Russia. And to help me demonstrate that, of course, is Chef David who is with HEB. Tell me what we're having today. We're having a feijoada, which is a very popular, almost a national dish of Brazil. So different kinds of pork and beef and ham hocks and sausage um, with black beans and it's a stew that's really, really hearty. Great for sitting on the couch and and uh, watching the Olympics. All right, so let's get it started. Okay. Show me how it's made. And I'm gonna ask Scott, because you've actually been to Brazil several times. You're telling me this is kind of a staple. I have to try this when I get there. It is, it's a, a Thursday evening, Saturday evening, as David said, a national dish that's made with sausage and ham and some beef, beans. Uh, you sit down, once you eat it, you don't feel like doing anything, <laughs> but it is delicious. Uh, there's a national drink called a caipirinha um, and you have a caipirinha and some feijoada and life is good and that so uh, yeah good. it's it's yeah we're having a serving with rice and some braised greens uh, today great dish I uh, boy you find the food along with some yucca rolls and cheese in Brazil the food is delicious uh, maybe topped only by the kindness of the people absolutely and I'm wondering how I'm gonna fit into my bikinis once I'm eating this <laughs> on the beach but uh, so tell me what you're doing now so I've added the pork and the the corned beef and sausage and everything to the pot. Um, I browned them, pulled them out, and then caramelized some onions and garlic. Returned the meat to the pot, heating that up a little bit. I've got some pre-cooked black beans right there and tomato sauce. That'll go in there with a little bay leaf and it'll simmer for about two hours. So it's really kind of natural seasoning cooked in its own. It is. It's, it's a really simple, you know, meat hearty. It's supposed to taste like meat and beans. So it's very good. Not a lot of smoked meats, just enough to give it flavor. And the meats vary by area where you go to in South America, but it's a very, very popular dish for sure. And I understand the most authentic way to make it is with the black beans, but not everyone does it with the black beans. No, right? Portugal, they do white beans in Portugal, which is where the dish comes from and the, the people in Portugal when they came over to South America. So they changed it with black beans in it and it's their dish now. Awesome, perfect, thank you both. Now throughout the week, of course, we're gonna be here at HEB with Scott and the various chefs here at the Cooking Corner. 